Let's get back to uh, to Kenny Minchie, though, guys. I do want to pop in his film because I, I think I think people are going to like this, and a lot of a lot of fans that have pop, watched this film have kind of came away like, "Ooh, I really like this kid." So let's let's kind of dive through this, guys. What you're seeing, uh, you know, obviously the 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 thing is you're going to see the mechanics like that right there. That's what you saw in the seven on seven, or I mean, in, at the elite, you know, really clean mechanics. Drives off that back foot, the ball just jumps over top, gets up and down in a hurry. That's the thing I like about this. This is touch. This ball goes about 50 yards, a little under. So about 45 yards. He throws from the 45. It lands at about the 10. That's a you know, it's a 45 yard throw with ease. So you see the clean mechanics here, but then you're gonna see here in a second, guys, when he starts playing off script. And this kid can flat out make a lot of plays off script. Well, I, I love the fact that for me, you, we talked we looked at Austin's film and Kenny's different in the fact that his lower body does all the work for him. You know, like the, the release is clean and compact. But it's also like there's not a lot of wasted movement up top. You know, everything's kind of stays in line from the pocket perspective. And, I mean, hats off to this coaching staff at his high school because he has some of the cleaner mechanics that I've seen in of any 2023 quarterback. He really stays composed. He stays aligned. And his lower body is what really does most of the work for him. Right. Yep. There's an ease to this kid. Mm-hmm. Like, his, his motion is cleaner at the same stage, but – Kind of reminds me a bit of Jalen Hurts, where it's just like it seems like nothing bothers him. And Guys, he throws this ball similar. from the forty, right? I just want to, to to what John, you're, I want to I want to get you back on track, but I, I think you said what you just said at the perfect time. He throws this ball from the forty yard line, and he's flicking it like it's like it doesn't look like he's really doing much. Look how slow, not slow. Look how methodical. I, I guess that kind of it, the ease with which he kind of goes to the throwing zone on this throw. Right, I mean, and it and it, it goes forty yards w- with no problem getting up and down in a hurry. Man, that to, backside to your safety point. had no chance. None. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Poor guy. Right. So, so okay. John, back back to your. I just wanted to point out like an example of it. So please get back to what you're saying about the ease, because I think those clips were were really good examples of that. Yeah, just like 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 Ryan was saying, the lower body dominance really shows up, but there's there's just an ease on top of it. That just kind of looks like he's hanging out, um, and and I love that. that. That like I said, that reminds me a bit of watching Jalen Hurts back in the day. Um, but obviously, Kenny uh, more polished from a passing standpoint mechanically. I mean, it's probably not even close uh, to, to between the two. Of course, Jalen was a great runner and as strong of, as a quarterback as, as we've probably ever evaluated. But mm-hmm. I think the the thing with Kenny is a whole lot of third level stuff. Right. You know, he's he's known to be consistent and the demeanor and all that. There's a whole lot of third level stuff. And it's all over the place, outside the numbers, down the seams. This is an uh, over I 35 like- yard pass post route that, that that doesn't even get off the screen, guys. I mean, it barely gets any trajectory. That's how easily he throws this ball. I mean, it gets over top. But like I, I don't think people understand how like, this was kind of my problem when I first watched him, too, John, is sometimes guys with that ease of throwing can kind of mask just how well they're throwing it. You know what I mean? Like this is yeah. not as easy of a throw with the kind of velocity he makes it that that it looks on film. And he you, had to, you know? he had to because the DB broke before the receiver on that play, right. and, and yep. he still he still fit it in. DB's breaking now, mm-hmm. and and he got it there. I mean, he took a whole yeah. angle, but he broke first, uh, so he had to put a little bit more mustard on it uh, to to get it there on time. Yeah, and I love a, how li- I love how live his arm is too, because you can see like when it, it makes contact with the wide receiver's hands, you can just see some guys the ball kind of fades at the end a little mm-hmm. bit, you know. But the ball is consistent velocity. I mean, you, we talked about a couple of those throws that was like 40, 45 in the air, and they're kind of on mm-hmm. ropes. Like it's not he's right. not putting a ton of touch on these balls. I really do think that we're going to underrate kind of the liveness of this kid's arm. Right. I think he, I think he has some pace to him. And that's why that lower body is. That's why I focus on that strong lower body earlier, guys, is because he doesn't have to power juice up the upper body like we were pointing out with nova said you know he do, he's a skinnier kid he has to kind of maybe juice up that upper body a little bit more i want to go back to these running clips here real quick because neither of these kids are really runners kenny can run but he's more of a chain mover type of runner he's a good athlete but he's not a runner he is yep. a pocket passer that you know he could run a read zone on third and five pull it and pick up a first down right or if you drop eight he can tuck it and run he's not He's not Brandon Wimbush. He's not Everett Golson. He's not Deshaun Kaiser, Malik Zaire. He is a pocket passer that also right. happens to be a, a decent athlete, in my opinion. Any, anybody want to disagree with that with that point of, about his game? No, I, I would say that I, I really wouldn't 
So he's not the same player of CJ Stroud, obviously, but like as a runner, I think they kind of are comparative in that way where CJ Stroud's not a guy that you're going to design a ton of stuff with, but when he wants to chooses to run, he can pick up a third and five with his legs. Like he's he got needs that to actually do that more in my opinion. Agree. hundred percent. If you go back 100%. and watch CJ Stroud's high school film compared to what he did last year, he, he needs to step up. He, he was looking like Dwayne Haskins at times last year, as far as just unwillingness to run. He's a much better athlete than Dwayne Haskins was. Yes. Uh, so I think that needs to become an even bigger part of this game. This is one tell, of my favorite throws. Tell that throws. to Stephen A. Smith. Tell no, don't, Stephen oh, Smith. my God. I get me started. <laughs> this is one of my favorite throws, guys, because this is mechanically something you never teach. He is stepping basically left to middle, and he sees this guy coming open, and he just throws it out. Outside I mean, the numbers, too. Yes. That's hard. That's hard. This, was saying, this, is, this is what we're talking about off-platform. This is exactly what we're talking about. His motion changes. His footwork is not there. But he's, he's looking left, and he sees this kid come open. Actually sees it a little bit later, but is able to react to it so quickly. But look at – I mean, to get that ball out there that way, that is an impressive, impressive throw, guys. And, and to John's point, too, it's outside the numbers. So that defender had no chance of that ball yeah. either. Like, it was in a clean spot. Yeah. I like this throw right here. This is a – I mean, this is some Four gas. Right this is gas right here, guys, and he's doing it with ease. It's a 20-yard ball that he just throws like it's nothing. And now you go watch his sophomore film, and he's one of those kids, John, that you're like, that's not the same kid. I got I'm watching the wrong film. That's not the same kid. He <laughs> just another one kind of like kind of like that outside the numbers ball right. off platform mm -hmm. uh to his strong side, and he still got it 30 yards through the mm -hmm. air on a rope, like Ryan said. I mean, there's not a whole lot of hang time with, with some of these balls, mm -hmm. and, and that's warranted more times than not. But there's still touch on it. That's the that's yep. the unique thing that that I that I really like. It's not like he's throwing line drives that you know, like, John, some of those throws, like, if you try to line drive that 35-yard post route, the DB on this film took a bad angle. But, you know, if that's Peyton Bowen or, you know, or or, or Caleb Downs, that ball's getting picked, right? You right. got it. But he's able to get that velocity, but he gets it up and down. That's a key. I love the timing here of this throw. Look at how he buys more time here with this little bound right here. Mm -hmm. Just because the receiver's just a little slow out of his break, but he's wide open. Yep. It's little things. Like he's, he's just got yep. a maturity. To, to yep. his game. And like you said, huge jump, huge jump sophomore to junior year, which is what you should see by the right. way. Like that should be right. where it starts to click for, for most of these guys. Um, so yeah. good, good eval, honestly, to, to push for Pitt. I mean, when he committed, yeah. I remember um, looking at his offer list, like, man, this kid should have had more, um, but yeah. good on them for getting on. Yeah. they have done a pretty good job at that position. But that's going to happen in years like this, John, there's just so yeah. many quarterbacks that it's kind of like some guys are going to get missed, especially a kid like him. Like you said, this is another off-platform play that I love. Steps in the pot. Protect the ball better. That's a criticism I have. Come on, man. Don't don't let that ball get out there like that. Uh, but you're going to miss kids in a class this deep. I mean, John, you and I have talked about it a million times. Ryan and I have talked about it a million times. This is one of the deepest quarterback classes I've ever seen. Mm, I mean, it's, yeah. and it's not just deep with five stars. It's deep, deep. It's deep, period. There, there's I've seen 25, 30 kids, and I'm like, that kid's a power five starter. Like and, and a good player, you know, mm -hmm. not all are Notre Dame level and Ohio State and Alabama level, but guys are like, man, if you know, boy, there. I think Vander was it Vanderbilt. I saw some school that's got a kid. I'm like, man, that kid's a pretty good football player. You know, Austin Novasad just goes under the radar to Baylor. You know, Kenny Minchie goes to Pitt, and I'm looking at these kids can play. Look at the touch yep. there. We're talking about all this velocity, but look at this one. This is exactly the opposite. This is touch right here, timing and touch, and that's what he shows. That's a kid that's got a really high football IQ. Brian, I know you said that this is uh, Golden Tate's former high school. What, what's the level here? Because I'm really it's, just overly impressed about what, just how mechanically sound he is yeah. for a high schooler. I don't know what it's like now. When Golden played there, it was one of the worst I've ever seen. Gotcha. They have upped their <laughs> schedule now. Like like they're playing better teams now. Uh, but when Golden played there, it was, it was, it was pretty terrible. It's, it's yeah, it's, it's still mid level. I mean, yeah. some of those schools, you know, the school that ironically is the Irish on some of these highlights, that's Knoxville Catholic. They, they've had guys for a long time. Home they, of Harrison. Yeah, they had a guy football. named Harrison Smith from there. He was, he turned out to be pretty decent. He was not bad. Job. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and what's interesting about, like, you talked about the depth of this class, uh, Brian, Tennessee, the state of Tennessee's got like four bona fide power five guys, and yeah. none of them were really ever considering Tennessee. I think that slowed down the process for some of these guys. They yeah. go out and get Nico and then like Marcel Reed, who's going to Ole Miss is there. Brock Glenn is still available there. He's, he's become a huge recruit. 
uh, Kenny Minchie, Chris Parson. These guys are all in Tennessee, and the balls weren't like pressing early. I'm gonna. And they were juniors for any of them, which is a red flag to a lot of other programs. Sometimes I'm gonna so, say something about that well. when we're done, John. But I wanted to point out this play. This may not seem like much to y'all, but when I watch this throw, he's purposely throwing the ball where he threw it. And this is one of those foot smart. This is a smart quarterback because if he throws this ball where the running back is or the receiver is, it's a lateral. Mm-hmm. But he throws it where he wants the receiver to go to. And you can see that's where he's trying to throw it. You can see where his shoulders are. His feet are not there, but you can see where he's throwing it. He's trying to throw the ball right there. And he makes the receiver get downhill where it's not a lateral. That's just, it may not seem like a big play to you, but to me, as a quarterback evaluator, I see something like that. I'm like, that's a smart football player. That's a kid that understands the game and just sees it that way. And I absolutely love that. Same thing right there. Sam Backer blitz. He didn't even try to set his feet. He knew the slant would be there. Yep. Yep. Easy Leads them. Yeah. And again, here's you see, like, look, he can move the chains if you need him to. He's not a kid you're going to be designing a bunch of runs for. He, he's a pocket passer. Yep. You know, he's not Tyler Buckner. He's not Everett Golson. He's not Malik. He's not Ian Book. You know, he's just a he's he's a pocket passer that can move the chains if you give him a crease, but he's not going to be a kid that's going to be going out there making a bunch of plays. Little, little Dak Prescott, maybe. Yeah. Not as athletic, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's just. Although Dak was a pretty good runner in college, but what still, Dak is he's now, still he's still a pretty good runner with the da- with Dallas yeah. when he when they need him to be. God, this is one thing I do not like. He lets this ball get away from his body way too much, way too much. He's got to protect that ball better. He's a playmaker, Brian. Let yeah, him be a that's fine. Yeah, that's like you can make. It, you just want to make sure that the plays you're making are for your team. That's something I do like about Novasad is when he steps into the pocket, he does that. He does that dip and rip. You know, where he gets that ball tucked and held, that's something that's very important. That, that ball literally in, in 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 the middle of five guys. This is one of those throws yep. that you're like, remember that scene from Major League? Nice catch, Hayes. Don't ever effing do it again. Like that, that's exactly what this throw is. But he makes it. You know, he makes. Have you ever that seen play. the? Uh, have you ever seen? There's a Mike Holmgren uh, clip of Brett Favre making a ridiculous throw like that, and he's just kind of like, don't, don't, don't. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, nice yeah. throw, Brad. I guarantee you, if they had the NFL films on the sideline all the time, Dan Reeves probably said that about a million times and throws John Elway made. And I'm sure oh, Mike sure. Holmgren's got about a million of those of Brett Favre. Uh, th- there's no doubt. So, guys, that's that is Kenny Minchie on film, and I think you all see it. That that's a that's one of the more live arms you're going to find, and I'm going to be honest with you. I think Tennessee is going to regret the decision that they made. In my opinion, mm. they went for the guy that's got the elite physical tools, and they passed up other kids who were just, in my opinion, better football players. 